I think we prepared the same way, just staying focused on the game. So I a big focus, that's what we did this week. Instead of going into halftime and kind of being laid back, everything was quiet at halftime, not much talking, no laughter at all. We kind of kept our focus and we went through and got the victory. Who were some of the key people in sort of getting that confidence and focus back? Um, well, Spoon always, you know, he's you know, a vocal leader and that's what he did this Saturday in the locker room. We came to the locker room during halftime and he, he, he kind of had Coach Ivy on the whistle, get everything quiet. He said, guys, we're not having this again. We're not going to go out in halftime and, and, and sold our swell play down there. Keep pedaling downhill. That's what we did. He stood up and said that. Guys, listen, and we did that. After uh, they controlled the ball for just about the entire third quarter, they kicked the two field goals. Was there that doubt in the back of your mind, like, oh, gosh, here we go again with the second quarter or second half? Um. Not really, because you know it, it resulted into a field goal. So we, I mean, they didn't come out and score or anything like that. So we were still, you know, happy with our performance at that time, and we knew that coming out and shutting them out as far as touchdown goes, that we'd be we'd be all right rest of the game. Some good moral victories then. Oh, great moral victory, great moral victory.